All right, Tobias, thank you. In El Paso, the community is still reeling weeks after 22 people were killed in a shooting at Walmart. Mental health advocates have been helping families. Yeah, and one of those offering assistance is a trained Red Cross volunteer from right here in the upstate. 7 News reporter Nicole Ford has more on her delicate and very difficult job of helping survivors through trauma. Inside the upstate American Red Cross sits Deb Logan. I can't say I wanted to go down. Um, I, um, I felt a tug to go there. That tug took this volunteer to El Paso, Texas, following a mass shooting that left the community grieving. I will never be the same. You know, I'll never go in a Walmart again and not think about them and not think about those folks. In every disaster, I see people come together as a, as a city. But I can tell you, El Paso was a city of love. Logan spent her days at the site of the shooting, using her skills as a nurse and her background in mental health psychology. People kept saying, I want to get back to normal. And, and so I would say, you're never going to get back to where you were because you're changed by this, just as everybody in the country has been changed by the shootings. It was two weeks she says she'll never forget while well, so many stories surrounded her. Every culture, every age. It was one man that impacted her the most. And he was ready to give up. He really said, um, I'm ready to just, just go. I've let my wife down because we said we were going to die together. Logan says she watched the community rally behind this now widower as he and everyone else in this community worked to understand what happened in their tight-knit Texas town. That's the biggest impact for me is just seeing the hope that comes from love. In Greenville, Nicole Ford, 7 News. Logan tells us of the roughly 100 Red Cross volunteers in El Paso, 12 were on the mental health team. We are following.